Mitchells and Butler um, built the pub in 1901 um, and it was to be their flagship venue for their brewery estate. So um, that's why I think they went to so much trouble to just fill it <laughs> with, with all this Victoriana. Um, so that was back in 1901, so 110 years on and we're still, you know, it's still pretty much the same as it was all of those years ago. These premises came on the market, which is the Barton Arms, and um, it was empty and it had been derelict and it was very unloved. Um, so in 2002, Oak and Mouse, uh, purchased it. I think most of the work was mostly cleaning and restoring. Um, there was a lot of tradesmen involved and cleaners involved to just bring back you know, the fabulous features that there are here. I mean, as you look around, you can see there's, there's not very much here that's modern. Um, it, it, it was just a matter of giving it a good old clean. This is just, you know, the, the heritage I think is so important. Aston Hippodrome was just across the way. Um, so when they were doing their big shows, the likes of Laurel and Hardy, we know stayed here. Um, this, because this wasn't just a pub, it was a lodging house. Mary Lloyd had stayed here, Sid Field, Charlie Chapman have all, been, have all stayed here. Um, more, more recently, Ozzy Osbourne has been here, <laughs> Nigel Kennedy. So um, it's, it's, it's got, you know, it's, it's had some real characters. Um, no, it's not a lodging house now, it's just, it's just the pub and, and we just have staff staying here. But I can imagine in, you know, in those days when you had all the vaudeville girls and it was just probably fabulous to, to have been here. And, and also, it's a very working class area um, around here. And so for working class people to sort of finish work and to then sort of pop into their local, which we like to think that this is, um, you know, they would have popped in and, you know, can you imagine coming in and seeing Laurel and Hardy stood at the bar? It must have been quite an amazing experience in, in those days. One of the key things about the Barton's Arms is, is heritage. So we want to try and bring some themes, events in around the, the heritage. From the outside, I don't think you really get the, the feeling of the warmth inside. The windows come alive, but only from the inside. We've got lots of stained glass. But from the outside, you, you don't really see that. So by um, trying to encourage people to come in, we've got no televisions here. You know, it, it's, it's, we want it to, this to be known for its heritage. A pub where you can come in and enjoy a beer and conversation. There's a sense of calm when you come in here, I think, and a, and, and a feeling of being sort of quite comfortable and, and sort of almost like a homely feel. And I think that's the strengths and I think that's where we need to expand and, and take advantage of that position because, you know, there, there are not many pubs like this. Thank you.